What? You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. There was a time when seeing a Kinrath was a rare thing. They mostly were around some caves to the south of here. But now, they're everywhere. They're dangerous too. More vicious than they used to be. I'd stay away from the eastern side of the plains. And now that I think about it, stay away from the west too. The west is filled with cat hounds. Dantooine is in a sad state these days. Mostly because the Republic has left us to fend for ourselves. I gave the Republic the best years of my life, and I understand they're under pressure. But I think that they'd be able to spare at least something to help us out. All we get is sympathy. I know this area, and you have to do certain things, even if it puts you in harm's way. What I'm doing is important. A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to Coond on his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. I'm one of the Kunda militia. They need all the able bodies they can get. I was a Republic custom inspector before I came back home. Now I'm the closest thing the militia's got to an investigator. I do. The Kinrath are dangerous. But as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. But Dantooine is temperate. There is no need for atmospheric sensors except for seasonal data collection. Huh? It's just important we get it back. They're expensive pieces of equipment, and we can't afford to replace them. Regardless, I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something. I just really need them. It's important. Please come to me if you find any of the atmospheric sensors. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you find, whether they're broken or not. No idea whatsoever. I figure it's a real long shot you'd ever spot one. But I also figure it wouldn't hurt to ask. Vitally important pieces of equipment on tectonically or environmentally unstable regions. But do you really need atmospheric sensors on Dantooine? Nice job, General. I don't suppose you found any of those atmospheric sensors. That's great news. My offer still stands. I'll pay you 3,000 credits for all of them. It is worth more to us than that. I'll pay you 4,000 credits for the lot of them. If you must, but I'd really like to buy them off of you. They're important. Come back if you change your mind. You ready to trade those atmospheric sensors for credits yet? It is worth more. You ready to... 
I was afraid of that. So, how do we do this, then? We were picking up off-world transmissions between the mercenaries and... Someone we don't know who. We know that the mercs are up to something, we just don't know what. We set those atmospheric sensors up to gather information. Now you know why we need those sensors. I'll pay you 5,000 credits for all three of them. That's about all we can afford. You make money and help us out at the same time. What do you say? <laughs> yeah, that's admirable of you. Thank you. I'll get this back to Zeron when I get back to Kunda. That was a kind act. It is good to see that one can still show compassion, even after the war. For some, it would have been a difficult thing to do. Thanks for helping out the militia. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. Hmm, that's just a great attitude. Sorry to waste your time. I have important things to do that help people. Maybe you've heard of that word. 